What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do a 1LE conversion on your ZL1 the correct way. So the way that I'm gonna show you guys today, it's gonna to be all factory OEM parts. So this is gonna give you the look and functionality of the actual 1LE. Stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing all of the parts numbers and every secret that you need to complete the 1LE conversion. So overall, with the 1LE package, you guys get the canards, the splitter, the grill, the upper grill, and then the wing in the back. So first, I'm gonna start off by explaining the grill and just like the whole front end area of it. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the middle and explain the grill. So the, gr the 1LE grill is gonna be satin black, as you can see, um, and the grill actually connects to the splitter. So you have to have both components when you con are con converting the ZL1. Um, so if you guys can see, the splitter connects into this bottom portion of the grill. Um, so it gives it that really aggressive look for the 1LE. The very first part that you guys are gonna need is the lower grill. Um, so I will insert the part number here so that you guys can easily find that. And then I'll also put it in my link below in the description. Um, but you're gonna need the grill, and then with the grill, you're going to need the splitter at the same time because they do connect together. So for the splitter, I will also insert the part number. So one thing to note that is important about this lower splitter is that you are actually gonna have to cut it. So if you guys come over here. So for the 1LE, they usually have a slit right here and there's a tab that is on the side right here which we cut off so that it isn't going into the car so as you guys can see it's completely gone there's no tab at all um, so we just shaved it off and it wasn't a problem at all okay so now that you have the lower grill and the lower splitter we're going to move on to the upper grill so obviously you guys see that i do not have the satin black grill and that is just simply because i didn't think it was necessary um, but the correct way to do it is to make the upper grill match the lower grill obviously so it's going to be satin black and the satin black one is going to be the actual 1le grill so you guys can replace that if possible i will insert the part number right here yet again um, so that is going to give you the real 1LE upper grill but it is kind of a challenge to install it was kind of annoying so I didn't do it and I didn't feel like doing it and you can't really tell so that is a step that you guys can skip if you wanted to Moving on, the next thing that you guys are going to want to get is the canards, which is this piece right here, and then this piece, which is going to replace your fog light for the normal ZL1. Um, this piece is going to be called the air inlet bezel, I believe is the correct term for it. Um, but that is going to fully delete the fog light, so just keep that noted. I actually like the look of this better, um, but it's all up to you guys. If you do want the canards, you're going to have to switch it out no matter what. Um, to be the OEM way. Um, so the part for the canards is gonna be different because there's right and left, so make sure you guys keep that noted. Um, so for, what is this, the left side? Yeah, okay, this is the left, yeah. The part numbers for the left and right canard are here, but I will also list them in the link below so you guys can go check them out. And then also for the air inlet bezels, this piece right here, the left and right ones I will insert again. And both of those left and right will be in the link below also so you guys can find those. For the installation of these canards, it is really important to note that you're gonna have to cut into the bumper. Um, and I know that sounds scary. I was really scared, but I didn't do myself for a certain reason because I, that makes me nervous but um, so one thing that's really cool about the ZL1 is when you take the bumper off right here where you put the slot of the canard into the car there's actually a line of where you need to cut your bumper on the inside of it so when you take it off and you look on the inside there's like a line and the really nice thing about that is it shows you exactly where you need to cut and you just cut that slot and then you'll be able to insert the canard and you just pop it in and it's simple as that so for these parts you're gonna need 12 mounting clips um, so I will also put the part number here um, but the mountain clips are very important because you're gonna need those to secure the parts to the bumper 
So I also wanted to let you guys be aware of the leftover plug for the fog lights that you guys are gonna have. So this plug obviously was for the fog light and now that you've completely deleted that, this is kind of just gonna be laying in there. So I guess you can kind of hide it and like tuck it down a little bit, which is what I do. Um, that's just something to note so that you guys are aware. It doesn't throw codes or anything, which is super nice, but it is there. So just so you guys are aware of that. So last but not least is the 1LE carbon fiber spoiler. So the thing about mine is, is that it is not actually the OEM part. So it's the only non-OEM part for the 1LE conversion that I do have on my car. But I think that this wing is entirely better than the GM version. So as you guys can see, this wing is actually from Anderson Composites and it's gonna be cheaper than the OEM version and it is also one whole piece. So the legs are connected and everything. So it is one whole molded piece, which I think is so much better than the um, GM part. So the OEM 1LE wing is going to be carbon fiber, but but it has black satin black legs for the wing and it is not all one piece um, so that is the only downside with going factory you guys are more than welcome to go factory do whatever you want I will insert the part number for the factory one right here um, but keep in mind that one is very very expensive so that one runs for five thousand dollars which is super pricey and this anderson composite one is going to be around 2500 i think it just depends on where you buy it from but you guys can purchase this at auto addict which is where i got mine and you guys can use my code zl1babe for a discount on it um, but overall if you guys are going to do the one alley wing i highly suggest that you go with the anderson composites one um, over the oem one just because it it looks better and it's all one piece so that's just me but you know do what you want I guess <laughs> it looks better so that is everything that you need to do the proper one elite conversion on your zeal one um, I hope I helped you guys out I will put in every single link to every part that I talked about in my description so you guys can find those easily and i hope you listen to me on the wing because i think that mine looks better but you know you can do what you want um and that's it <laughs> okay we're good testing one two three four five six meow look and functionality <laughs> good ready to go this feels so cringy. <laughs> How cringy does it feel on a scale of 1 to 20? Okay.